So, welcome. I sort of welcome home, I guess, you might say. I know. I'm so yeah. excited to be home, my hometown. This is cool? Special yeah. for you? Oh, God, yes. Anything special planned for tonight's show? With um, no, not really. I'm just going to talk to the crowd a lot, you know, because my family's out there and all my friends, you know, are going to be screaming for me. So, uh -huh. I'm excited. Well, as, as you know, we kind of spent the day in, in Kentwood and kind of delved into your past and <laughs> yeah. met some family and oh, friends. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Would you please give a great big round of applause to your hometown girl, Miss Brittany Spears! So, Lynn, this has to be one of the more uh, exciting days for Kentwood, I would imagine. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Especially for her family. Uh -huh. Oh, it's just crazy. How early on did you see any signs of Brittany ever, you know, making this kind of a life for herself? Honestly, at three years old, yeah. she was dancing and she was leading the pack in the dance reviews and she'd turn around and she'd tell all the kids, no, that's wrong, don't do that, you know. And then she sang, she sang all the time to the point of it'd be a little bit annoying, you know. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't think most moms in Kentwood would necessarily be into sort of uprooting their lives and moving there with their daughter, and, but it was, all, it was fine with you, you were excited about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No I mean, problem. she wanted to do it, right. and I mean, and if it, you know, if we had the opportunity, we were going to take it, mm -hmm. you know, and do it. Do you think Brittany, in any way, has been an inspiration to other kids here who might have dreams of doing something as big as she's done? Definitely, because so many people they think, well, if they're from a small town, oh, there's no way we'd be able to do that from Kentwood, Louisiana, you know. But they can see that if you really want to do something, you can work really hard and your dreams can come true if you focus yourself and just try really hard to achieve them. And that's exactly what Brittany did. She knew what she wanted years ago. I mean, this is what she wanted was to sing. It wasn't really to do the Mickey Mouse Club. Right. You know, she liked it and that was fun, but that was just a stepping stone to the part where she can do what she's doing now. You think in any way, having achieved what she's achieved and seen everything that she's seen in the world at this point, Brittany has outgrown Kentwood in any way? Oh, of course. I mean, she would have to, yeah. you know, because she's used to doing so many other things. But I still, I mean, this, this will always be her roots. Right. You know, this is where she was raised. These are where the people that will always love her most in the world. This, this is where they are. When Brittany comes home, everybody's glad to see Brittany, but it's not a big, you know, she feels at home when she comes home. So what's your point of view on all this craziness that's been happening around here for the last six months because of your sister? Oh, I enjoy it. I mean, it's pretty good. If anybody deserves it, she does. Uh -huh. She's worked hard for it? She's worked really hard. She hasn't changed at all. Not one bit. I don't think so. I mean, she's still sweet. I don't think she realizes how big this really is. I don't think she has a grasp of that. You know, because I think she's looking at it from her point of view. She's not seeing it from a fan's point of view or a family's point of view, you know, looking at it from the outside in. But I think that's what keeps her. And she's got good morals and stuff, so I think she's gonna stay down to earth. I know you're Brittany's cousin, right? Yeah. And everyone else pretty much grew up with her, grew up around her? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you go out to movies? Can you have parties at people's houses? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 and she's... It hasn't got too bad to the point where you go somewhere and it's a big mob of people and you can't talk to her or anything. It hasn't really got that bad. I'm sure it will, but... You know, we can still go places around here, and you know, this is her room. As you can see, she likes dolls. We used to play dolls when we were little, so there's all these porcelain dolls, wow. and there's a lot over there, so, and she loves her pictures, too, so she has pictures everywhere. So do you guys used to hang out in here a lot? Yeah, a lot. Or sometimes she likes to stay in the living room and watch TV a lot, so really? she didn't really stay in here that I noticed much. she's got a TV in here yeah. now. Yeah. I think, I think that's her sister's. Jamelin has kind of taken over her room <laughs> since she's been gone. These are pictures from the Mickey Mouse Club. Like, there's Justin in them. These are all the, there were seven new ones when Brittany joined. Mm -hmm. So, there's Justin and there's Brittany. And Christina, Christina is signed with RCA. And so they're all, they're all doing real good after the Mickey Mouse All looking much, yeah. uh, much younger here. Yeah. <laughs> they look a little different. All right, Lauren, so obviously the living room here, right? Some memorabilia here, I think we recognize her. Here, that's in concert. That's uh -huh. what she wears a lot of times. And there's These a lot trophies. of trophies. A yeah. lot of those are hers from talent competitions and stuff. But some of them are like basketball, but most of them are hers. She played basketball too? Yeah, oh. she did. Well, her dad did too. Uh -huh. So those are his too. Now, is her name on some of these trophies? Do you know? Um, I don't know. I know that Miss Talent USA, she run oh, yeah. that. Can someone just tell me pretty much what's going to be happening today as far as this caravan and... <laughs> 
You want to tell me about that? Well, I think everyone's meeting in town, and they're just gonna all ride caravan to the Centroplex and tailgate in the parking lot. So, one of Brittany's former teachers? Yes, third grade. Really? Now, what do you remember of her from third grade? Well, she was shy, uh, except behind a microphone. She loved to perform. Very, very sweet child, very compassionate with the other children. That impressed me with her because I could see she had a future. When you think back to growing up in that house, in that town, were you always optimistic that something like this would happen someday? Yeah, I've always, I like, I think I've always had it in me. The confidence, too? Yeah, yeah, to totally just, I wanted it really, really bad, you know? But um, there was times where I was just like, no, you know, that's, such a, that's a fantasy world, you know, living that, you know, I could never. But then I always had it in the back of my head, you know, I'm going to go for it, and if, you know, if it works out, that's fine, but if it does, well, great.